What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again with another edition of OTR. Beside me is my Tuesday tag team partner, Terminator Tony T. Catchphrase! And you know what? Burger King put a whole different type of slice of cheese on the sourdough king. Holy crap! I know, man. I, I just couldn't contain myself. A whole new slice of cheese. Oh, God, it's different. It's a whole new thing. But that's why we're not there today. We went to Boston instead. Not Boston, Massachusetts, but Boston Market, because they got some boozy chicken that we just got to try. We'll be right back right after this on OTR. You are looking live at Boston Market on Beauregard Street near the corner of Little River Turnpike you know over there by the Arby's that we're always hanging out at and just across the street really from that IHOB where we were last week also sad to note that the shoppers food warehouse down yonder has shuttered uh, a lot of businesses going away and that's not a good thing anyway we're here today at Boston Market because we didn't want to go to Burger King and Boston Market has something new for once this is their bacon bourbon rotisserie chicken and yeah i got a three-piece dark meat meal for 9.29 and they also have some new seasonal sides i got one of those that's the creamy parmesan corn and of course i got their awesome macaroni and cheese because it really is the best thing that they have but what this bourbon chicken seems to entail is a bourbon glaze with bacon bits on top so uh, pretty simple, but sounds like it could be really, really good. Tony got, I believe, uh, half a white meat meal and or something like that, too. And I think, got, well, how much was that one, you know? It was like uh, nine. It was like ten bucks. Ten basically. bucks, okay. Great. And they also have some kind of new green stuff that I didn't even check out. And they've got prime rib that we can't get today. But anyhow, we'll be right back to try out this chicken right after this on OTR. Mm -hmm. All right, gang, we're back to try out this new bourbon bacon chicken or bacon bourbon rotisserie chicken, whichever uh, order you want to say it, and I'm sure it's fine. Uh, looks pretty good. smells good. I'm not a big fan, usually, of the regular Boston Market rotisserie chicken, especially because we have some really good Peruvian chicken in this area, and it blows it away. You're going to need a knife and fork with this one, guys, I think, although I do have a leg here, so I might be able to haunch that up and show it to you. There you go. It's got stuff falling off of it, though. And my hand has caught that. There you go. I'm not going to show it to you next to my noggin because that might cause a catastrophe. Got some of this gooey crap on my hand. Tony's going to try to cut off a little bit of his there. Man. Definitely got sweet scent going on. I can see a little bit of bacon here and there. I'm not sure why you would put bacon on top of the bourbon on top of chicken because it doesn't stay there. But I guess you can sort of try to make it stay there. I don't know. Because the bourbon's not exactly glue. Yeah, it's just, I'm making a mess over here. All right. Well, let's do this. I also got the uh, creamy Parmesan corn, which is one of their new seasonal items. Uh, it does appear to have some actual stretchy cheese in there. I'm actually surprised at that, guys. All right, let me see how this is. That's cheesy corn, all right. Okay, so let's talk about the main event, the real deal here, the chicken. Um, sweet, sticky. Uh, I didn't taste a ton of bacon on that first couple bites there, but I got a little bit near the end because I guess my piece didn't have a ton of bacon on there. The other ones look like they might have a little bit more. Um, it's just their regular chicken on the inside, so, you know, standard fare there. But it's a pretty decent bourbon sauce, though I would prefer something better like the uh, Jack Daniels sauce at uh, Friday's I think uh -huh. maybe and maybe if, if they put a little bit of heat in this it would be a better sauce too what do you think I think that Boston Market consistently has subpar rotisserie chicken yes um, it has uh, uh, I don't know the the rotisserie chicken sometimes me and the BRE here will pick up rotisserie chickens from giant food uh, grocery store because mm -hmm. they got a good rotisserie chicken this is lesser than that. Yeah. It, it's not quite, It's there's something weird about it. It's just, it's got this weird taste, like it's almost a little, slightly rubbery. A little almost. bit, yeah, and it's, there's never any crispiness to the skin. There's no crispiness to Ever. the skin. Well, part of the problem is because when you, we get here, we walk up and the rotisserie chicken is kept inside heating containers. Mm -hmm. So that just destroys the crispiness if it had crispiness. Then the next problem, because uh, we tried, what was that, the uh, chicken marsala, I think? Did we try that? Or you no? tried it. I, I tried it. it. Okay. They had a chicken marsala rotisserie chicken. 
they take their rotisserie chicken and they put it on your plate and then they pour over the flavor. So this bourbon bacon glaze stuff, this it, that's it's bourbon bacon glaze and then they sprinkle bacon bits on it. I like the flavor of the bourbon bacon glaze. I, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good, but it's just not. There's something about it. Just, they just pour it over the chicken and the chicken again is it's subpar rotisserie chicken. Like he says, around us there are a plethora of Peruvian chicken places that just destroy the rotisserie chicken market that you can't compare. Uh, I myself go to a place called Edie's Chicken and Steak every Thursday night, and I mean every Thursday night, and get chicken for dinner. It's good, it's okay, but it's nothing compared to the other stuff. If they would baste the chicken as they cook it, and actually have that, and then have it crispy and have it ready, it'd be, far superior be not maybe it's not superior to the Peruvians but it would be much better but this whole thing about we made a chicken and then we poured some stuff over it right as you ordered it it just doesn't really do well that's like calling a piece of chicken with some barbecue sauce on a barbecue chicken it's yeah. just not what it is that's the same thing i'm sure they've done that rotisserie barbecue chicken and they take the rotisserie chicken they take a bottle of sauce and squirt it over it so uh yeah what kind of uh, rating i mean i don't hate it but i don't love it but I'm going half. Yeah. Again, it's not. Again, it's 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 okay, and I will in, I will I will it'll be okay eating the rest of this, but uh, I definitely don't see myself running back here for it. I'll go ahead and give it a five eighths because the sauce is pretty good. Yeah. But outside of that, it is just Boston Market's regular old unimpressive rotisserie chicken, and you can get much better, much many other places. A lot of times cheaper, uh, you know, the giant one that he's talking about is like five bucks. Yeah. So, you know, go to town, you know, make your own, uh, get your own chicken from the giant and put some sides around it. I guess that would be a little bit better. Yeah. Now this corn, this corn is pretty good as it goes. Uh, I love corn. I can eat corn all day long. You put cheese in corn, it makes corn better. Um, they could use some pepper and some seasoning though. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a three quarter thumbs up. I uh, don't have to review all the other stuff because everybody's already had that before. Their macaroni and cheese is yeah. really good. I like their size. I like Boston Market size. Yeah. And I like it when I come up and I get like the the, the, the carved turkey or uh, they got, sometimes they do the ham and they're promo, they're, pre, uh, they're, they're promoting this prime rib, which I'd be interested to try because I went to Ikea one night with a friend of mine. He was picking out some kitchen cabinets and I went to the Ikea um, cafeteria and they were, they had prime rib and I was like, Okay, prime rib from Ikea. It was really good. <laughs> it was prime rib. It came with a baked potato, and it was really good. So, I don't know. I'd, I'd be interested to try Boston Market's prime rib. But it's only available on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday after 5 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we can't put the effort into making the chicken with the sauce already on it. We can't put the effort into making prime rib every day. Yeah. Even though I've had prime rib up the wazoo. I'm sorry, that's a quote from one of my favorite videos. Anyhow... Thanks for watching, guys. We kept rambling because we love you. We like talking to you guys. Um, thanks for watching. You can check us out on Facebook where we started the group and uh, this whole thing got rolling years ago. Also, check us out on Patreon. Support us if you can. Slide a few shekels our way. Both links are down in the description below, but underneath the comments, or above the comments, actually. And then check us out on uh, Instagram and Twitter, at BrandonRickSAS, at GDanzik666. When you do that, make sure you use the handy, happy hashtag, Snack Society all day every day that way you know what we're eating we know what you're eating too so make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and in the meantime in between time we're sweating and we'll see you next time bye bye catchphrase